Hi, good afternoon everyone. I'm just waiting for Kelly Page Winter to join me. We're going to be chatting today. It's International Youth Day and we're going to have such an awful day because we have a great lineup of inspirational youth doing incredible things out there. So I'm just waiting for Kelly to get online and then we can start. Okay, Kelly is just connecting. Hello. Hi, Kelly. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's, it's. I'm so glad that I got you on today. It's such an important day for the youth, International Youth Day, and I just want to congratulate you on everything that you are doing before we even start. So well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. So to everyone that's watching, today is International Youth Day, and I am having a chat with the glamorous Kelly Page Winter. She's going to share her challenges, experiences, and the awesome journey and what's taken her to be where she is today. So Kelly, we're just going to go straight into it because I think uh, if people want to know more about you, because we very limited for time. Uh, they can search you on your social media platforms to see the amazing work yes. that you are doing. So uh, just tell me, who is Kelly? Um, okay, so I'm 20 years old. I just turned 20 this year. I'm studying optometry. I've been doing pageants since I was about eight years old. And I've been singing since I was two. I did dancing for most of my life and I did acting throughout high school. That is awesome. Just talk, let's just go to your studies first. Um, what made you actually do optometry? Uh, you know, I'm sure you have a passion for it, uh, but what drove you to that, uh, that path? Um, my whole life, I always wanted to be in the medical industry. I just wasn't sure what. So I did my first year last year at WIT, um, not in optometry. I was doing a Bachelor of Health Science in Biomedicine. Um, but it just wasn't for me, and it, I just felt like I wasn't. it wasn't where my passion was lying. So I changed over to optometry after job shadowing and realizing that it's more of an industry that I'd be interested in doing. Um, it's just, it's not that it's easier than medicine itself. It's just more of a way for me to help more people in like a certain amount of time and make sure that all my attention is focused on them for that specific amount of time. That is awesome, Kelly. So I followed your journey when it comes to pageantry and I judge a few pageants I think it was about two or three pageants where you actually participated and won um you know I know when you're on that stage you really stretch your stuff and you are just exceptionally good you know you just take over there's no way that you cannot win a pageant you know so uh, just take us through your journey of pageantry you've done I think I don't know how many titles you have I'd love to see how many crowns you have sitting on that metal piece. So just take us through from the <laughs> age of eight. You know, you've been uh, into pageants and modeling. Yeah, well, my first pageant was actually when I was about three. Um, we were at Sun City and Miss Valley of Waves was going on. And I just saw the other girls walking in their costumes on the stage. And I just said to my dad, no, dad, please, can I go up there? So he picked me up and put me on the stage. And I think I came second at that pageant. Um, so I think... I always wanted to do pageants after that and always asked my mom, but my mom was always thinking, no, modeling, you're very small. And as we all know, modeling, it can be a bit hectic with all the girls and all the cattiness. That's something that we can't deny. Um, and then she let me join my first modeling school when I was about six. And I entered my first modeling competition through Jackie Allen when I was about eight or nine. And ever since it's just, I've, I'm just a completely 
different person. I'm more myself when I'm on stage than in any other environment, whether it's modeling or singing. It's just where I'm home and it's really just where my heart lies. I can show you all my crowns. I don't know how many I have. <laughs> Please, go ahead. We want to see you. them. So I've got, I think when I was cleaning, I saw about 60 something. I'm oh not 100% sure. <laughs> yeah. But that's just my whole life right there. <laughs> wow, Kelly. Such great memories as well. I can see your sashes behind you as well. What really stands out for you? Which pageant stands out for you? Oh, there's so many. I think definitely, um, I think the one that stands out the most for me was my first big one. It would probably be Little Miss World South Africa when I was 10. Um, only because that was the first time that I really won a big title. And part of that competition, there was also talent. There aren't really talents anymore involved in competitions. But it was like an opportunity for me to do my singing and my modeling in one go. Uh, but it was She always adds something so interesting to it with all of her themes. Um, but I definitely would say that I also love Jackie's competition of Miss Edenvale. Uh, it's one of my favorites because I always just feel so at home there. Everyone knows everyone. It's just a very friendly competition. I actually loved that competition because I judged the last one as well. Yeah. Yes. Well done. Congratulations. You've achieved so much in this 20 years. Um, you know, I, I'm so proud of you, Kitty. But I just want to ask you, um, what motivates you? You know, being on that stage and you're inspiring so many youngsters out there and you just ooze with confidence. How do you get that? Because, I mean, isn't it something to be learned? You don't just, you're not born with confidence? You're quiet? I don't know. I think it is something that you can be born with, but it's definitely also something that you can acquire. I mean, I've always had a very encouraging family and I've always had very supportive friends. So I've always had people there to motivate me and move me forward. But I think the best thing for me is knowing that if I win that title or make it like, I'll be able to make a difference on a platform and I'll be more of a person that people can look up to um, in the sense that you've got that platform to stand on. Um, I don't think that a title like puts me any, in any position to make me think that I'm better than anyone else. It definitely doesn't do that, but it just raises you a little bit onto social media and into the world, knowing that people can rely on you to be a leader for everyone else. And it's just it's so inspiring for me, knowing that I can make so much of a difference in everyone's lives. Talking about making a difference in people's lives. So we do know that a lot of the pageants where you participate in, they have a lot of outreach programs. So it's a lot to do with beauty with a purpose. So do you want to take yes. me through that with, with Jackie and uh, Juanita and the other people that you work with in terms of outreach programs? Sure. Um, the main outreach program that's always been part of my life is very much Edenvale based, um, obviously because I stay in Bedford View, so it's around the corner. We try to visit the Edenvale Hospital every month, every second month. It depends on what's going on. Obviously with coronavirus, we haven't been able to, um, but we always go there to visit the children, make them feel better. I think I did my first hospital visit when I was about seven or eight. Wow. And we just went there to hand out sweets and chocolates and teddy bears to the little kids that were, um, that had broken legs or, I, I mean, it's very sad. There's not very many parents that are there with their children because they obviously have to work. Um, and Edenvale Hospital is quite run down. It's, a government hospital but it's not of a very good standard um and then recently when we went we went into the maternity ward and we saw the uh, woman in expecting babies and the woman who had just given birth and we just were there to support them and just help them out and give them some gifts as well otherwise i am quite involved in the mfundu project with juanita um which is for early childhood development um at a kindergarten level just to discourage crime so that these children do have a basic education. That is great. Well done. You know, you are doing so much, Kelly. And I, I look at your social media and I say, oh, there she is at it again. There she's doing this, there she's doing that. And, you know, it's something that I'm so passionate about as well, is just giving back. Um, I do know that you don't do any fundraising. So who actually funds your projects? Because you do so much from your own pocket. How do you do it? <laughs> Um, well, I do have very supportive parents, so they help me quite a lot, but 
I do work as well. Um, at the moment, I've been babysitting. I do a lot of promotions. Um, I do kids' birthday parties. I dress up as Princess Elsa and I go play games with them and sing to them at their birthday parties. And I was working at a comic store for quite a while. Um, but I do try to put aside some of that money so that I can just lend a hand here and there. Um, otherwise, my parents do contribute quite a lot. I just, I don't feel that it's right. Personally, I mean, it is good to ask people for money for donations. But for me, I just, you don't know what that other person's situation is. And you don't know if they're in a position to donate money. So you don't want to be stuck in a situation where you actually do ask someone for money. And then they can't give you and they end up feeling very guilty. So although I do try, I just, I do feel very bad for some people and you aren't always able to, even though you want to. So Kelly, who is your role model? I have so many. <laughs> um, I definitely would say that my mom is one of my biggest role models. As cliche as it does sound, my mom has gone through the most in her life. She really has had it hard um, from her early childhood. Um, and she's managed to push through it so much and she still has such a kind heart and she's so giving and she's so caring and loving. She just always has time for people to make people feel better. And she's been such a motivation to me and my brother. Um, Juanita is also a massive inspiration to me with all of her problems that she's had. She's really someone to look up to and she just does everything for everyone else. She doesn't really do anything for herself. And definitely Jackie Allen. She has motivated me and she just she's everything that I want to be in a woman um I want to be as encouraging and loving and supportive as her and as driven and I just want to help as many people as I can and she really has shown me how to do that wonderful Kelly so just some fun questions what are your hobbies my hobbies definitely singing um I used to love dancing I still do it's just I'm a bit out of it at the moment um, and acting, I do definitely want to go uh, do theatre for about a year or so after my studies, just take a break from it. Um, I'm also quite a fan of nature, so I love just going for walks, going for hikes. Um, I enjoy my fitness, so I go for a jog every morning. And wow. yeah, if my dog counts as a hobby, I love spending time with my little dog. <laughs> yes, I've seen pictures of your doggy as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's gorgeous. So tell me, do you cook and bake? I should, but no. <laughs> um, I just never really got into it. Um, my mom, I remember when I was quite small, she was cutting potatoes and she sliced off the tip of her finger. And I think that was just the start for me where it just put me off. Um, I'm not the most handy in the kitchen, no. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit different now. We're a bit more modern where we have potato peelers. So you can try again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely can. <laughs> And uh, Kitty, where to from here? Um, are we going to see you on the Miss Essay Wrap? It is definitely a long-term goal. I do think that it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of dedication. Um, it's definitely something that I've looked at for most of my life. Um, I was entering the Little Miss and the Junior Miss South Africa when I was much younger. So it is definitely something that I'd look at doing. It's something that I'm very interested in doing. Uh, it's just, it will just be a bit more time before I start embarking on that journey. I think you had such an incredible journey because, you know, um, you started your outreach programs from such a young age and you've been going on with it uh, diligently and just giving back to communities. And we see a lot of women and girls in pageantry that um, they join just to be on that ramp and get that crown and then they start outreach or they do it for the pageant itself. So it's not something in their heart, you know, they just do it because they have to do it. Yeah. But with you, you have that history behind you of just giving back. Yeah, I, personally, I don't see the point in doing something that you love and with such a big impact on the world without actually making a difference with it. I mean, even the Miss Universe pageants and all that, that's such a big pageant. It's like one of the biggest pageants and they incorporate community service so much. So I don't understand those people who do enter a competition, they win the title and then it's just as if they vanish off the face of the earth. I just, I don't think it's right because then you're just doing it for yourself. And I, I, that's not me. Yes. Well, we, we see that all the time. You know, I see that all the time with people um, that have won crowns and they've done absolutely nothing about it, but they're just so proud of just having that title. Um, yeah. Kenny, I just want to ask you, um, 
in terms of your studies, how do you juggle? You know, you've got studies, you've got pageantry, you've got hobbies, you've got everything else that goes with it. How do you juggle your time? Because we want to inspire the youth out there. And, you know, if you, Kelly can do it, why can't they do it? <laughs> it is a lot about time management. Um, I must say it is a lot harder if you don't have a very supportive background um, with family and friends who encourage you to try make time for everything. My family is always stuck to Sunday's family day. You can't go see friends. You can't go on dates or anything um, on a Sunday. That's just family time. In the week, it's study time. And then you've got just Friday nights and Saturdays to do anything else that you feel like. So I usually reserve my Fridays for my friends and my Saturdays for my pageants and for my singing and everything else. And uh any photographers that stands out for you? Because I know you do a lot of modeling oh. shoots and um, so anybody that stands out for you? Definitely my mom. <laughs> as shocking as it sounds, my mom takes pretty much all my photos. So everything that I've posted on my Instagram, my mom's taken. <laughs> my mom's my number one fan and she's always very critical. So if I am doing something wrong or I don't look my best, she won't just shoot the shots and then say, okay, we'll post this. My mom's very helpful like that. Otherwise, definitely Carl um, van Furen. He's taken such amazing shots with me. I'd love to shoot with him again. And I'm also hopefully planning a shoot with a guy called um, Saul Lazarus, and he's got his own photography company. Awesome, Kelly. So um, being International Youth Day, what is your message out to youth? My message is do things for yourself, but make sure that you're not selfish. So I do think that one of the main problems that the youth is facing is um, a lot of pressure. They want to all be a certain way. They see all these supermodels and they want to be a certain way. They just start spending money that they don't have. And I think that's very sad. Um, but I do think that you have to make sure to be yourself with all the hate crime that's going on, whether it's the Black Lives Matter or the LGBTQ community. Um, just be yourself and fight for what you need and everything that's right and don't back down and also just try and make a difference in other people's lives. Don't do everything for yourself and just try and make a change wherever you can. What a powerful message from a 20 year old. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kelly. But we're not just going to end and say goodbye. I'm going to ask you because I know there's something that you're very passionate about. And I just love it. I've seen you on stage. Um, I've witnessed it. You have a golden voice. I think it's something that you must not ignore and take that further as well. So are you going to sing us a song? Sure. It actually is part of my message. Um, I wanted to do Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson because he speaks about making a change and doing things for other people. And you have to start with yourself to do that. So that's why I chose that song. We're going to close with the song. Thank you, Kelly. And thank you for coming on board. And all the best in whatever you do going forward. And we will definitely be in touch again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me as well. It's a pleasure. Okay, I'll sing for you now. I'm gonna make a change for once in my life It's gonna feel real good, gonna make a difference, gonna make it right As I turned up the color of my favorite winter coat This wind is blowing my mind See the kids in the street Pending not to see their needs A summer's disregard A broken bottle top And one man's soul They follow each other on the wind, you know Cause they got nowhere to go that's why I want you to know I'm starting with the man in the mirror I'm asking him to change his ways And no message could have been any clearer If you want to make the world a better place Take a look at yourself and make that change
Wow, wow, wow. What a clear message. Make that change. Kitty, yeah. we are going to see you on that Miss Essay ramp. So, whoever's oh, watching, <laughs> look out for Kitty Page Winter. She is going to be our Miss Essay at some point. My darling, I wish you everything of the best. Take care so and much. God bless you. And just keep on being awe-inspiring. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure, Kelly. Take care. Bye.